am back with a thrift store haul. Um, during just some free time that I've had, I've been going to some thrift stores because it's the middle of winter, so there's no yard sales to go to, and I'm just like, I get, I get these urges to find bargains and deals, and since I can't go to yard sales, I just have to hit up some thrift stop, thrift shops. So I, these are just like an accumulation of different thrift stores I have gone to within like the past couple of weeks. Um, mainly Goodwill and um, just like a community um, thrift shop that I go to in my area. So I'm just gonna start pulling stuff out of my bags and showing you guys what I got. Um, I found some really awesome, awesome deals, and that is why I love thrift shopping so freaking much. So, let's start with just random stuff first, and then I'll get into clothing later. But, I found this Bliss Supersized Vanilla and Bergamot Body Butter. This thing's huge. It's a 14 fluid ounce tube of Bliss Body Butter. So, I know this stuff is, is expensive, and I think this might have been a Target cast off. A lot of times, Goodwill gets in Target products. And um, the last time I was at Goodwill, and if you have a Goodwill around you and you know they get Target stuff in, they had a ton of like the dollar spot section stuff for like 47 cents a piece. So you're definitely getting it less than a dollar from, um, you know, that you pay at Target. So just throwing it out there that Goodwill does have a lot of that stuff in right now. Um, but this is brand new. It is still sealed. And they had two of these, and I'm stupid, and I should have bought both just because it's such an amazing deal. And I could have give, given one away as a gift or something because this would have been a perfect Christmas gift. But this was only $2.97. That is an insane deal for a huge thing of Bliss Body Butter. So... Yeah, I was dumb to not get both of them because I probably could have put it in like a giveaway or something as well. But I only got this one, so I was really excited to find that though. So that is the first thing that I found. Now, these are all pretty much Target stuff as well that I found at Goodwill. And with the Target stuff, um, most of it, they, like, Goodwill doesn't actually price the Target stuff, I think. When it comes in, Target gives them a price that they're supposed to put on it because they'll have they'll have um, a different colored tag on. So the Bliss might not have been actually from Target because it has a Goodwill tag, but the Target stuff ha will have a green tag. So this is also, I'm assuming, you know, from Target because like the barcode's always blacked out too. But this is the Fakai, if I'm pronouncing that right, I apologize, Hair Fragrance Mist. So this is like perfume for your hair that you could just like spritz in and it just make your hair smell really nice. And they had two different scents, but I chose this one. This one is the rose scent and it was $4.99. So I thought that was a good deal. I don't know how much this was originally, but I'm assuming it probably was way more than that. Just because I know Fakai is like, um, you know, a brand that Sephora sells and stuff like that. Or they used to anyway. Uh, but these are all brand new, obviously, and that's what the bottle looks like. And this smells so nice. It's just a very light, almost like a fruity floral rose smell. And it just smells so clean and fresh. And they also had another scent, but I definitely preferred this one. So it's the only one I bought. But they had a couple of these, so there wasn't just one. So that was a really good deal, I thought, and I really like that. I think it smells so good. And I mean, really, it is like hair perfume, but I don't see why you couldn't spritz it on yourself either. So, I mean, I'm going to use it just to like spritz in my hair, but I just don't see why it would be an issue to <laughs> spritz it, you know, on your skin or anything. Um, another Target um, cast off that I got at Goodwill is just this little note card set. I thought these were super cute. Um, these were originally in the Target dollar spot for a dollar, but Goodwill had them for 49 cents. So, they're just, they just say thanks a bunch, and then I'm assuming the inside is blank so you can write what you want. But I really liked the look of them and the shape. I thought they were really cute. So, I got those just as like little thank you cards for, you know, whatever. Um, another Target cast off, I found these, and this is, it was originally $9.99. On clearance for $2.98 and then at Target I paid 
yeah, at Target, I paid, no, at Goodwill, I paid $1.49. And these are face masks. And I have so many face masks that I'm still trying to get through. But I, as part of like, you know, the new year, I want to just try to take more me time. And I, I want to incorporate my face mask into like, you know, my routine more. Because a lot of times I just don't take that extra step of really, you know, taking the time for myself kind of thing because I'm just so busy with working and stuff like that. So I'm going to start using face masks way more often. So I got this one and it says there are three face masks in here and they're by, I can't see because they have a sticker over the, whatchamacallit. So let me open them up because I want to see them better. They're in these like pod things. So you get three of them. Well, one is like stuck in the front, but they're by a brand called Nug Nug Face Mask. It is flaxseed and peppermint oil. It's supposed to revitalize and plump dull, tired skin for a radiant look. So they're in these little pods and there were three in here. The other one's kind of like stuck in the, the front of the packaging, so I'll have to get that out. But I've never tried this brand, um, but I figured for $1.49, originally 10 bucks, that's a good deal to try them out. So I picked that up. And then I think this is the last um, Target uh, item that I got at Goodwill. And they had two of these, and I probably should have got the other one as well, but I only bought one. And I have been accumulating glasses, dishware, things like that, that, that do not match. I, I will just be somewhere and I'll see like a cup or something and I'm like, oh, I want that one. And it doesn't go with like anything else that I have, but I just, I have to have it. So I, I'm getting like a, an ecle eclectic mix of um, drinkware. <laughs> but this one is by a brand called Paper Chase. It is a glass tumbler. I paid $2.99 for it. And I'm not sure how much it was originally. Originally it was $12. So for $2.99, that's a great deal. Beautiful packaging. Like this would have been an awesome Christmas gift as well. Um, especially for someone who doesn't care if their <laughs> like drinkware matches. Because um, if they do, then obviously they're going to be like, well, what am I going to do with this? But I don't care if my stuff matches. I'm more about like just having pretty things really. So, but I really like the look of this because it had these beautiful, just gold feathers around it. And it's a nice, I took it out of the packaging before I bought it because when I'm at Goodwill, like no lie, and I, I, I want to make sure one, that like if I'm buying something, everything that's supposed to be there is there. Two, that nothing is broken. Um, and just, you know, if that means I have to take it out of the packaging first, I'm going to do it before I spend my money on it because a lot of, a lot of thrift stores, they don't take returns and things like that. So I always inspect everything before I buy it, but this one has a really nice like heft to it. And I just thought it was so pretty with the gold feathers. So I picked that up. They had two, only bought one. Um, but yes, I really do like that. So got that one. Um, okay, that was one bag. Now, yesterday I stopped at another Goodwill and I found two vintage goodies. And these, oh my gosh, do you guys remember these? If you're, you're a child of the 80s, you will probably remember them. Uh, but they are called the Make It and Bake It. And they are like little DIY kind of sun catcher things. And... I had these when I was young and I had the rainbow one which I bought and my grandma had it hanging by her kitchen sink for like ever and I just I had to get these for nostalgia purposes. I don't know if I'm actually going to use them. I might resell them. But these were brand new in the the con the the cardboard still. So all of the stuff was still there and unused. But this is the butterfly one. And essentially, you just pour these beads into the little um, sections of the sun catcher, and then you bake it in the oven, and then it makes like this stained glass kind of look. So these were $1.97 a piece. They had two others, but they're, they were out of the packaging. So I just bought these, and 
What sucks is, since the packaging's so old, like this one was still sealed, but it popped open just because it was like, the glue was like barely holding it on. But this is the rainbow, um, the heart rainbow one that I was telling you about that I did when I was little that my grandma had by her kitchen sink. And I just thought it was so much fun to, to see these there. And this one was also $1.97. So I got that one as well. I love finding vintage things at thrift stores. It just makes my heart so happy. And then, oh, here's another one of the little packets that came out of that one. It had a yellow. And then I found this. And I just, oh my god, I fell in absolute love with this little plush animal. Look at how cute it is. I'm obsessed with cats, you guys. And... This is just like the cutest little soft tabby cat in this gorgeous little pink dress. She is so adorable. I didn't know anything about her. I knew she looked old, but she still has her tag attached here. And her name is Kitty Cucumber. How cute is that? I mean, I'm like extra hormonal and kind of like girly problems, but I'm just like practically in tears over how adorable this was. But this says it's from 1985. And I didn't even notice when I bought it, but there was an original tag on here. And she originally, in 1985, cost $13.50 for this little stuffed plush. I thought that was insane. Uh, but I only paid $1.97 for her. And I thought that was a great deal considering what she originally retailed for and the fact that she still had her original tag and was in beautiful condition. So she still has her dress and, like, even, like, underneath and... <laughs> This, this, I don't mean to be obscene, like, showing you underneath her dress, but you can see, like, she has, like, on her body, like, you know, their little socks and underwears and stuff like that. And it's just so cute, and it was in such great condition. And kitty cucumber! Oh my gosh. So I'm just dying over this. I think it's so adorable. So I, I was really happy about that find because I just thought it was so stinking cute. <clears throat> All right, and lastly, I have clothing. Um, I did purchase this sweater that I'm wearing right now. This was $3.99. I absolutely love it. It's very, very warm, but it has this, like, lacy kind of floral crochet along the sleeves here, and it's just really nice. It fits very, very well. It's just super cozy. The brand, I think it was originally from Charlotte Russe, um, but it's just super duper nice. And then I found, I found this top, and this is by um, Lucky Brand. This isn't really like a style I gravitate towards, but I tried it on, and I thought it looked really, really cute. So I figure if if I don't end up wearing it, I can probably sell it. It was five dollars and ninety nine cents, but it's just like kind of like a peasant kind of top, I guess you'd call that. And I don't know, it was it was cute though. Like it looks it looks cute on. It's just not really like the style I typically wear, but you know, I like experimenting with um clothing. So I got that and we shall see if I keep it or not. This one here I did buy to resell. I had never heard of the brand before, but I think it, you know, I looked it up and it is on like the pricier side. But it's by a brand called Neon Buddha. Nirvana for your body and soul. This was a really interesting looking top. It was $4.99. It's like this really pretty cranberry color, long sleeved, um, but the neck is kind of just like oversized and then it has these buttons on the tops of the shoulders. So I liked the look of that. I thought it was really cute. In fact, I don't know. I didn't try this one on, so I don't know if it looks cute on and it fits me okay maybe I'll keep it instead and then I found this top is just by um Sonoma which came from Kohl's it's just like one of their basic everyday long sleeve tops and I have a couple of those and I like to wear them to work this one I don't know if I'm gonna wear to work though but I liked how glitzy it was it's like an oatmeal color which isn't like the prettiest color I would go for as far as like color wise goes but you can see how glittery it is. It's just full of glitter. It just sparkles so awesomely. Like, I had to get it, and it fit. It was my size, and I have have the everyday tees, and yeah, I just had to get it. And then lastly, I got these shoes, and I know, you, <laughs> I know a lot of people are going to think these are absolutely hideous, but back in the day, these kind of shoes, they were pretty popular. Um... 
they are definitely vintage, you can tell, but they still had their tags. They are by a company called Leather Collection. They are genuine leather. And they have a braided toe with just like this um, colorful stitching. And I got these because I like, like I do resell. And one of the things, like as far as reselling goes, I'm the type of person who I like to resell things that I enjoy that like make me happy so I don't really feel it um like I don't feel like it's taking away from my time to list something it's more like a pleasure you know what I mean like I find something I think is fun that like I think someone else would really enjoy so then I can sell it to give it to someone who who would really want it you know what I mean like you're going on eBay, you're looking for something really super specific, and like, if I have something that someone really wants, like, I just think it's awesome that, like, I could find something for someone, if you know what I mean. Like, that's how I view reselling. So, I like to buy things that make me happy, and vintage clothing, vintage anything makes me happy, especially when they still have the tags on. Like, it's just, it's, it's one of those things like you you find something vintage with the tag still and it's like oh my gosh you know what I mean it's because it's so hard to come by nowadays so when I found these I just got really excited and thought like someone might really be like wanting a pair like oh I used to have these shoes back in like the 80s or early 90s and I would love a pair now you know what I mean I did try them on and they fit me perfectly but um they're just like I don't know what I would wear with them just because they're not really my my style per se, but they are super cute. Like these would look really cute with like skinny jeans and just like a really cute fun top. So I got those to resell. But that is everything that I have gotten recently from thrifting. I just love going out. I wish, like lately I have just been going by myself because I don't really have anyone else to go with. But I have so much fun. I wish I had a thrifting partner though, but you know, it's so fun to like go out and just, you know, shop. Take some time to yourself and just like look around and shop and not feel rushed. Um, but yes, that is everything that I have found recently. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you thought of the things I got. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.